and you, you can't touch the caterpillars because you think, oh, what a pretty caterpillar, and they're poison. People don't believe me when I tell them this. There is such a thing. <laughs> when I was in high school, I thought it was really important that people auditioning for a school play be expected to deliver a kind of paper trail that they would be expected to deliver at a professional audition. So people were supposed to have a photo, preferably a headshot, preferably what we used to call a glossy, until the matte finish took over. I mean, no one had this in my, a few had this in my high school. And they had to write down credits and their special skills and all of that stuff. You know, do you, do you have your own tuxedo? Can you juggle? But it's how I found out that the young woman named Mercy did choreography. I wouldn't have known that if she hadn't put it on her audition form. The amazing part was the number of angles. So many people had maybe one credit, or this was one of their three credits, which was playing an angle in the Christmas pageant. And so I had a routine with a couple of my professional acting friends, one of whom, by the time she was 18 or 19, was headlining at a posh piano bar below a fancy restaurant. And so people would go in and she would be singing and they would put money in the jar and say, man, what are you doing here? And so she had a thing about, I'm a cute angle. That was her thing. Um, so we just, we thought this was the funniest. So one of the people who worked on one of these high school plays, which I, I left out the part about going to school in a public school system and being in a neighborhood where parents were of means enough that if they wanted their kids to do enrichment activities, they could put them in them outside of school. So it wasn't like going to school where some of my friends did in, say, East Sparta, Ohio, or Decorah, Iowa, where they had good programs for theater and music and photography and science and industrial arts at the school because that was the only gig. You know, Minneapolis is four hours away or Cleveland is, you know, two hours away. And don't make fun of Cleveland. I'm going to do a whole segment on that. Not going to be done here. So as a result, we didn't have much of a program at my high school, so I decided, okay, we'll make one. So one of my friends who I got involved to do props for this big production showed me her application to Stanford, which was a successful application, it turned out. And she had had to fill in blanks about various things she did in various fields, and she told me how excited she was because she could put arts as one of her high school activities because she had done props. But elsewhere, one of her volunteer activities was candy stripper at the hospital. She somehow had just blanked and put two Ps in the word, which really does make you think, doesn't it? You know, like what kind of candy, gumdrops, peppermints? I mean, is it a gingerbread house? I don't know. Are, are you thinking? I'm thinking. Duh. Blah, 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 blah.